Go live. All right. How we doing, Betty? Everything peaceful, I hope. Everything peaceful in your world. <laughs> so today, I went up, I picked up some Panini Prism. I picked up my case of, uh, what did I pick up a case of? I'm good. What did I pick up this case of? What is this? Whatever we're breaking this weekend. Big League. And in amongst all those boxes, they had some hometown heroes from 2013. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to buy some of that and just open it up because it would be fun. And so here I am, going to open it up, and I'm going to have some fun. So 2013 Panini Hometown Heroes, 24 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, professional baseball trading cards, they have three autographs per box, huh? Let's see, what can we get? Also look for randomly inserted cards, state parallels, zip code parallels. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. They had it in their um, discount area. Sports discs. Okay. I know nothing. So I'm just going to open it. I'm going to open it. But I, I was looking at the, the list. And I see there's like a Nolan Ryan autograph you can pull out of here, and then Mike Schmidt. So there's some, there's some big boys that you can pull out of here. So um, it would be awesome to hit somebody big. It would be awesome to hit somebody something. Kind of cool. On-card signatures, too. Let's look. Let's play with some Nini hometown hero ah, I can see they have that classic panini kind of like the um, that Diamond King look Pat Burl look at that Frank Thomas Joe Carter a rod oh look at that Tim Lincecum what's up Chris got Tim Lincecum car now that's a rarity for me I picked up uh, I picked up uh, several boxes, eight total of these uh, Panini Hometown Heroes. So there's one for me. Well, they're all for me, but yeah. Ben Sheets, Jeff Bagwell. It's supposed to be on card autograph, so I'm hoping there'd be somebody worth a crap. Wayne Murphy. Oh, snap. Buster Posey. Uh, uh, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth, Chris. Dino Glenn Davis. Oh, look, a, a little you uh, Darvish. Sports disc. <laughs> That's funny. And here's this. James Loney. I don't know what, what is special about uh, James Loney here, but something, I guess. He was backwards. Calling the shots, Lou Pinella. Barry Wood, hometown hero, curtain call. Reggie, Dwight Gooden. Ever heard of these, Chris? So, I'm thinking that one of two things will happen with these. A... They'll wind up as part of our uh, our uh, pre-pack uh, stuff. Mike Kruko. That does not look like Mike Kruko. 
I think they got a photo wrong. That does not look like my Kuko. Chipper, McCutcheon, Willie Wilson. One of the one of my one of my favorite players growing up. Very underrated player, Willie Wilson. Terrific hitter. Posada. Not only that, Bob Gibson. Manny Machado. Is this a Machado rookie? That's crazy. Rookie Wilson. Zunino. Greg Maddox. Randy Johnson. Votto. There's another one. Chipper. Sports disc. That's cool. Andre Dawson. Well, that is a jacked up looking card. That's not jacked up, but you know that's a Panerico. Bob Horner. Why on earth they have Bob Horner in this is beyond me. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Houston Street, not a Hall of Famer. Jim Sunberg, yeah. Jim Sunberg. So Chris, what do you got going on tonight? Any fun happening? What's up, Justin? 2013 Panini Hometown Heroes. I went over there to pick up my order for the weekend and uh, uh, for this week, for the breaks. And uh, I'll leave that. Mark Grace, MP Rose, John Franco, Joe Charbonneau. Oh, come on, Joe Charbonneau. Anytime you have Charbonneau in a product, you know, something good's going to happen. Denny McLean. What is Denny McLean's claim to fame? Anyone? Anyone? Jim Abbott. Come on, you got Jim Abbott in here. Ron Say. What do they call Say? The Penguin? Garcia Parra. Daryl Strawberry. Darling. I don't know who you are, dude. Will Clark. Any product that has Will Clark is a good product. Barry Larkin. Gorman Thomas. Bob Brenly. He's not a giant, though. Oh, look at that. Rivalry. Johnny Damon. Boston and New York. That's cool. So I'm, what I'm thinking will end up happening with these is they will be potentially part of our our uh, next uh, Pack Wars night. Wally Joyner might be a might be a special break of something for the fun of it. So I put the I put the Panini Prism on the uh, on the on the as a Three box break and uh, Dale Murphy and uh, no bites. Ichiro, Ernie Banks, Lee Mazzelli. So that kind of sucked. Well, I did get one bite, and so today I opened a bite a box for David, and I'm sending him all the cards. Pedro. Sometimes people want them. Sometimes they don't. You roll for punches. Alaraga. Ooh, Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh, sweet. Look at that. Daryl Strawberry. Card feels a little racist. How come it's uh, black? I don't know. Mike Kruko. Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Ah, uh, it's a tease. It's a tease. That would have been a sweet auto. Larry Boa. Ferguson Jenkins. These are kind of fun cards. So, CL Justin, you got anything going? CL, you check any breaks out? Anything good coming up? I was glad at the end of that break uh, that we didn't buy in because it sucked. Cal Ripken Jr. Oh, geez. Frank Robinson. Come on. Let's have some of those autographs being here. Jack McDowell. Tudor, he was pretty good. Mickey Lolich, he was a stud. Barfield, George Brett, Templeton, Dave Steeb, 09, Madlock, Tommy Lasorda, 
we would consider him a hometown hero? I don't know, man. Oh, look at that, Glenn Davis. That's a cool autograph. All right, that's got to be an auto. Yeah, that's an autograph. On card, Glenn Davis. That's a sweet signature. I like it. Ah, just selling, huh? What's up, Adam? So my first autograph is Glenn Davis. Some of these will probably wind up in the box of fun, too, let's be honest. Man, that's what I'm starting to feel like, CL. Not enough, you know. You know, I'm working on that for the uh, Bowman draft and Bowman's best. I am working on that. Oh, look at this one's like uh, something different. It has a little CA on it. I wonder what that's all about. Nicknames, The Kid. McGee. McGee, another one, underrated. Bryce Harper, overrated. So, Bruce, Bo Jackson. How good would Bo Jackson have been, I wonder, if he would have not gotten hurt? I don't think he would have been as good as... What's up, Bacon? I don't think he would have been as good as his legend is, but I think he would have been a good player. I think he would have been a good player. I don't think he would have lasted a long, Avery, a long time, you know, 10 years or so. And I think he's one of the ones where when he hit that wall, oh, my Lord. Is this a Puig rookie? I really want to tear that card in half, but I won't. I won't. Ozzy Smith. Jordan Zimmerman. Ah, snap. Kevin Mitchell. You know, it's a good box if it just has a If it just has Giants in it, that's all that we care about. That's a good one right there. Blue Brock. Chipper. I think that'd be nice if this one was autographed. See, and the Chipper has a little Georgia on it. I wonder what that's all about. Everything good with you, Bacon? Juan Pierre, there's a blast from the past. So, so far, our box has produced a Glenn Davis Auto. This auto has got to be worth ones of dollars. Okay. And next one I, next one I come across, he's going out. He's going out. I really want to, James. I, th I think I will. Ooh, we've got a Jeter in there. Hmm. Ricky Henderson. Eckstein. He was, he was, you know what Eckstein was in his career? Eckstein was a right place player. He was not that great. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He was not a great player. But he always seemed to be on teams that that went deep. You know what I'm saying, playoff wise. Um, and so he was uh, he was. Uh, oh, it's just sad seeing Matt Williams in Arizona. Just sad. Juan Samuel, he was a stud. 84 Fleer, Juan Samuel. Come on, guys. 84 Fleer, Juan Samuel. One of the good cards early on. Oh, that was a good one. Strasburg. Schmidt would be a good autograph. Now, apparently there is a Schmidt autograph you can pull out of here. That would be an awesome autograph. Shelby Miller. Who's this one? Oh, look, Shelby Miller. Jorge Posada. The Penguin. That'd be a good autograph. Big PV. He was a terrible giant. Oh, Clayton Kershaw. Good luck on your finals, Bacon. Good luck on your finals. 
So just so everyone knows, I did get one email. I did uh, I did take down the other two boxes of Prism on the website. I just zeroed it all out. Since there wasn't enough interest, I didn't feel like uh, um, leaving it there to let it sit. So I just zeroed it all out. And I'll take those extra two boxes and I'll go into some other other kind of break or some other something at some point. Tony Pena, come on. Tony Pena autograph, ain't nothing wrong with that. Tony Pena, I like it. These are 2013, I, 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 it doesn't look anything like him. Man, I remember those days, come on. All the way up through my master's degree. I hated studying. Oh, Josh Hamilton would be a good. Now that would be a good autograph. I know Josh Hamilton had his problems, but I I would take a Josh Hamilton autograph and be happy about it. I might have to open two boxes of this. I'm having too fun, too much fun. Hey, Buna. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Or like I was saying, you know, maybe maybe that's part of our uh, pack wars, you know, thing that we're gonna do. I'll save her for something. Lucky Dent, Earl Hershiser. He was a good giant for a year. Adam Jones. Matt Kane. All right. Jack Clark. Man, he blew up. Literally. Tim Salmon. Roger Clemens would be a great autograph. Max Scherzer. Frank White. 6412. Oh, okay. So this is the area code one. Oh, that's a sweet Jeter. That's a tough one, too, Black Border. All right, Derek, we're putting you in one. Derek Jeter's just one of those once-in-a-generation kind of a, you know. Willie Wilson really was a great player. Herbeck. Pettit. Gossage. Helton. And Gary Sheffield. I love these kind of products. Ooh, Jim Palmer, that'd be a good one. I'll take that autograph. Alomar, Jim Rice. Dan Gladden, former giant. Hunter Pence. Oh, and he's in a giant uniform. Ah, oh, one of my favorite giants. Hunter Pence, who went to the Texas Rangers, and he's tearing it up. The Jeter, is it numbered? I don't think so. Brooks Robinson, he is tearing it up with the uh, with the Rangers, and good for him. Dusty Baker, great manager who will never win a World Series. I like hometown, the state thing for McCutcheon. You Darvish. Girardi. Who will our last autograph be? If you can guess who the last autograph will be in this product, you will win said autograph. Oh, look, we got a white card in there. We got a redemption. Wouldn't that suck if we got a redemption? Did we get a redemption? Holy cow. What it, we got a redemption? Is that a redemption? Oh man. Did I get a redemption? I think there is a Will Clark autograph in here, Betty. Uh I hope uh, I hope Panini is good to their word on this things if that's what it is. Ah, Utley, and it is a redemption. Holy crap! Look at that. 2013 Panini home down. It's a Manny Machado autograph. Manny Machado 2013 Panini hometown heroes autograph. Can I go on their website? Think I can go on their website? Should I try it? Is it worth trying it? Well, I guess it could hurt. 
Wisconsin for uh, yeah. This is 2013. I'll grab it. We'll do another box. Oh, my, geez, Mike Trout's in here. Oh, one of the Trout autograph. No, it's not good. It was. It's expired in uh, 15. But usually Panini tries to honor that stuff, right? That's what I hear is Panini likes to honor their stuff. So I'm going to go on there as soon as we're done here. And I'm going to go on there. Matter of fact, I'll do it while we're live. Hold on. I think I have a Panini account now because I, I did some other one. Fernando Valenzuela. Yeah, what's the worst they're going to tell me? No. I mean, come on, Nolan Ryan. Zach Wheeler. I got a, I got a, you know, a shot. Pablo. Jose Rijo. I don't know you. Roger, rivalry. Contact him first. Okay. Why, why do I contact him before I scratch it? Why don't I just try to redeem it and see what happens? I can't, there's no number for me to contact him. It's all complicated. You guys are all complicated. Can I just be easy and just like scratch it off and put it on there and hope it happens? I guess I, I'll try to call him. It's a Machado. That's got to be worth a couple bucks, right? Manny Machado. Whereas he's known in this house, Manny McAdoo. We're going to open this box right here because it's the most beat up of the bunch. Lord knows these things have been probably sitting on the back aisle collecting dust. Well, they clearly have been for the last uh, six years. Let's open one more. It is? Really? So you're saying I should try to call him first, tell him that I have a redemption, and see if they'll do anything for me. And I hope it's not Panini Points. What the heck am I going to do with Panini Points? Well, at least it wasn't a big auto. I mean, you know. Very wood. I still got half a case of this stuff left. You guys want you guys want to do a break with this stuff? A little fun break. Mark Lemke for the Braves. Speaking of the Braves, what do you do? I like talking to people. I prefer calling and talking to them over emails. Mark Lemke. Tony Gwynn, he's got the little thing on there. Oh, I like Lemke. That kind of fun product. Juan Samuel. It's all the base, you know? What are you going to do with all the base? Oh, look at that. Gary Gaetti. 
City Hall autograph. That's got to be pretty tough. Maybe I got a hot box. Gary Gaetti. That's a that's pretty good. Minnesota. We got a Minnesota guy here. Not here, but you know. We got one uh, person who always likes to have the, the twins. I'll take that. Gary Gaetti. I should just put that Manny Machado on uh, eBay. Let some poor sucker buy it. Nah, that wouldn't be my style. I'm going to call him. Yes, I bought this product back in 2014, right before I went to prison. And I just got out of prison, and I was going through the box of cards. And I saw that I got a Manny Machado autograph, and it sure would make me happy, seeing as I just got out of prison, if I could redeem this card. Because I really don't want to go back to prison, and something like this might make me angry enough that it could happen. Can you help me out? Think that'll work? Should I try that approach? As I was getting my last prison tat, I thought to myself, it sure will be nice to open those cards up. Look at that! Uh, I'm gonna, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start collecting all the Yasiel Puig stuff. We're gonna have a big pile and then we're gonna have a live bonfire. A Puig fire. We're gonna call it the Puig fire. You don't think that'll work? Did you guys see these things I got for the for the free break giveaway? I got this uh, T206 Piedmont. I got the uh, David Price out of 99 autograph. And then I got a uh, Gem Mint uh, Libra Torres 2016 Bowman draft base. I think I got some, bought something else too. You know, the prison sympathy works. Oh, look at that. I don't know if that is or not. Oh, I must have a little disc in it. There you go. Yeah, we haven't had the Luau yet this year. Dan, Hunter Pence? I just want one San Francisco Giants autograph. Or an autograph of a player who considered at one point in his career uh, to go play for the Giants. Who thought? Oh, Dave Keeman, look. Uh, Dave Keeman, who um, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, but never will be because um, sports writers hate him. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the new link. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Will Myers. Oh, I just thought it was an autograph. Don Manning, that'd be a good one. That is a good clip. I like that one. Who will our. Maybe I got a hot box. Maybe I got like a five autograph box. Did they have hot box back in 2013? I don't know. I was in prison. See, this is part of my cover story, so I can tell them they can watch the live feed of when I opened it, you know. So back when I was in prison, I wasn't aware of those things called hot boxes, but now that I'm not in. Yeah, there are some pretty good ones. I was looking at the I was looking at the list. Oh, wouldn't that have been a nice one? Ah, oh. too bad. We'll put you in a sleep. Yeah, that there was one that's like Schmidt and Ryan and I mean, there's a lot of them. Texas, Bobby Witt. I 
I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a Mike Trout in autograph in here, but you know, I really am going to call Panini. I'm going to keep you guys up on it. Matter of fact, when I call Panini, I'm going to tell them that I am going to use the, this as part of my live feed. Um, so people will know how well Panini treated me. Um, in get yeah, three New York in uh, getting the uh, getting this redeemed that's what I'll, that's what I'm gonna do Lord did I get it oh shoot. thought I got another redemption I'm gonna wind up with two Manny Machados Kevin Mitchell I'll take Kevin Mitchell I really am gonna do that oh Molitor with a little thing I, I really am gonna do this as a live feed I'm gonna do it matter of fact I'm gonna do it on speakerphone as a live call to Panini. That's really, that is what I'm going to do, genuinely. Question is, should I go with the, uh, should I go with the I've been in prison thing, or should I just do it straight? I'm sure they will. I've heard good things about Panini. Joe Charbonneau, he was, you know, back in my young collecting career, you know, that these are the guys, Denny McClain, even though Danny McClain was never anything big, I mean, to win 30 games in a year is huge. Jim Abbott, remember when Abbott came out one-handed, the Penguin? I really thought he was going to be a stud. Who doesn't like Cal? Who doesn't like Frank Robinson? Schmidt was a stud. Petrie, he was okay. Greenwell, he was okay. Boddicker, yeah. Adam Jones. Get the little thingy. Yeah, I'll probably mess up my story. Wait a minute, are, were you in prison or are you a breaker? Uh, 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 I was broke, that's why I went to prison. No, I broke out of prison. Ah, I broke out of prison. See, I've never been, so I, I, I don't know the stories I'll figure it out. I broke out of prison to redeem this card. There, yeah, that's where I'm going with. All right, here's the question. Now that you guys have seen it, I have half a case of this stuff left. Do you guys want to do some little goofy break with it? I'll do it. Oh, man, something. Or I'll just keep it all for myself, which is fine with me, too. I like it. I don't know. Maybe we should just we'll throw it in packs or something. Because we will eventually do the, uh, the 500. I was so disappointed. The first two had to... Uh, Autographs. I thought maybe I was going to have like a like a ten autograph box, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe I get a five. That'd be five. Will Myers, Bill Buckner, poor Buckner, Mickey Lolich. He was a stud. Here comes some kind of pink. Look at that. Oh, it's backwards. It's an autograph. Matt Kane, Tim Salmon. He broke my heart in two thousand two. The Rocket. Come on, be a big autograph. Come on, be a big autograph. Be a big, oh, I'll take it. Eric Davis. Eric Davis. Come on. Look at that, Clayton Kershaw. Worth. That's got to be worth ones of dollars right there. Look at that. Eric Davis. Come on. Eric Davis. He was a stud for like 10 minutes. Uh, I, I haven't seen one from him. I was just in there a few minutes ago because uh, because uh, someone named Brandon, whose last name starts with an R, sent me an email said saying that my uh, PSA stuff was in, and then I got all excited. Then he sent me a follow-up email and said, uh, in fact, it was not. He hurt me. He hurt me. So I called Mona up and... You know, and I haven't heard from Mona, and I haven't seen Mona. So, I, guys, so uh, if you guys keep Mona in your thoughts and prayers, I'm going to guess that she's probably back in the hospital again. So, I don't know that for sure, but that's my best guess, because Mona is not one to generally be quiet unless she's just not around. Unless someone has heard from her, and she's decided she doesn't want to hang around with us anymore. So... Mona, if you're out there, if you watch this, 
We hope you're feeling well. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys uh, one other thing. Um, and this is this is something that I think is as classy. I'm gonna put my cards down after we get done with this pack, and I'm gonna tell you what happened. Chris saw it. Chris is a Chris is a uh, a witness to this because he was part of it. Uh, Chris and I were in a break, at, in part of a break, uh, night before last, Chris, I think it was, and uh, I was with the guys from, uh, um, who are you with, Chris? High quality breaks. And uh, uh, they, in the middle of the feed, without even asking, uh, anything of me uh, they gave a shout out to our feed um, restless crap breakers and uh, uh, right in the middle of his feed that everyone should go check us out that we're uh, that I'm a good guy and uh, I think that was as classy as anything that has happened since I started breaking I mean that was just awesome and I also uh, uh, told them we're going to be down there in Orlando in uh, October, late September, early October, uh, late October, early November. And uh, I, I genuinely am going to try to work out with them, come in and do a guest break. Um, so if they if they see this, I want them to know how much I appreciate them doing that for us. And, and certainly um, that was a very stand-up thing that you guys did. Um, and that says a lot about you guys, so... I want to give a shout out right back at you. That was very nice. And I know there were some guys in there who uh, came over to check out our feed because I see two of them subscribed and one of them in the middle of the feed asked who we were and and uh, and they were they were very uh, that was very gracious of them and uh, um, you deserve a shout out for that. Yep, they do take too long to ship, but they are fun guys. Well, I didn't get a I didn't get a Will Clark, but I I gotta tell you guys something with this product. I I am oh look at that Bryce Harper. Come on, I got it. I Bryce Harper. That's got to be worth ones of dollars. So is this the same? Oh, okay. So this definitely is something. Then it's a more rare black border. That was uh, uh, high quality breakers. High quality breakers. We better do something. I mean, we are literally. Um, I, I'm telling you guys. I, I there's there is part of me that is really looking forward to this, and part of me that's that is is already tired. That I mean, we we got breaks every weekend from now until through mid September, and we've mapped it all out. I got to get it on the website. We've mapped it all out, how we're going to break and what we're going to break and when we're going to break it. Oh, no. Oh, phew. thought I had another uh, redemption. In there. So that's going to be, uh, it's, it's pretty, oh, look at that. Black border, Cal Ripken. Hm. Come on, Cal. Eckersley. I am I am not unhappy with these at all. You got the you got the uh, Manny Machado. Is 2013 is that his rookie? I don't know. Eric Davis. Gary Gaetti. City Hall, and hometown of Lemke, Tony Pena, and Glenn Davis. I mean, this is a fun product. That's a fun product. And so, uh, um, like I said, I'm still working on these. Um, we've got some promotions that uh, I've been talking about with my son that are going to start. Um, we're going to make a serious hard push for um, 1,000 subscribers. Um, which is going to be the next thing that we're going to do. But we've got uh, uh, next weekend. I'm going to put a link up here to this. I want you guys to take a look at this. I think I think my total allocation for this one. 
some of these things happened before I um, before I started buying secondary um, but there's a product coming out next weekend have you guys seen a pro debut um, that has all the big boys um, in it uh, here is a link to that so check that out we will have a half case break of that next weekend uh, 2012 so that's pretty close that's pretty close I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna do it live I'm gonna tell them I'm, gonna, I'm live but I'm gonna definitely do that live and see what they'll what they'll do that'll be a fun uh, that'll be fun I'm sure Panini any of their stand-up people um, but that looks like a good product um, so we'll do a break of that next weekend um, and then at the end of the month is leather and lumber and uh, I'm a little nervous about leather and lumber too um, I think it's a more high-end product than prism and has a lot more vintage stars vintage hits um, and at the end of the month is also um, definitive our one box of definitive so I think what we'll probably end up doing is getting leather and lumber and definitive on the website sooner and we'll do them as spot breaks and uh, leather and lumber will be one autograph and one relic uh, per spot and then we'll just uh, divvy out the uh, the base uh, to everyone because I don't really don't want it. Um, but there's some there's some fun stuff and then we're then we hit June we're we're rolling hard so I'm looking forward to it I'm also nervous I'm also uh, eager to uh, get Giants out of all this stuff I'm also eager to uh, to get rolling but anyway I want to do that um, I, I I think I'm gonna look for some more of this old product um, to do breaks with I think they're just I mean if you can get them on the cheap which for a lot of them you can I mean you could do a break of this stuff and it wouldn't cost do a random break and it wouldn't cost anybody hardly anything to you know 25 bucks a spot or something yeah it was fun like I said I got a half case so uh, we'll see if we want to do anything with that that might be that might be fun and exciting but anyway, we have the um, we have this weekend on eBay already listed that are actually doing pretty well. We have Big League and uh, and uh, the Four Case of Prism, and um, like I said, with these two, I took this down. David Boring was the only one who bought in, so we broke the one box earlier, and uh, um, so I'm just going to send him the contents of the box, and then these two. We'll find something to do with them. We'll pack them out, or I don't know. We got some. We got some fun stuff coming up, so we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll be one of the prizes for the um, upcoming uh, push to uh, a thousand uh, subscribers. Uh, so that'll be the next thing with that. Why couldn't my three autographs, three of my autographs, be those guys? That'd be more fun. So anyway. That's it. I wanted to get you guys to check that out. Um, if anybody's interested in a box of this uh, Panini Prism, shoot me an email. Let me know, um, and uh, uh, we could probably work something out that way too. If no one wants, I, I get it. Not every not every product everyone is going to want. Um, but uh, um, still, no offers on Sandy Koufax. Still no offers on Sandy Koufax. I'm very disappointed. No one wants Sandy. Poor Sandy. He was such a great pitcher, but no one wants him. I might have to do something with that. Then I still got to find, uh, we'll do something with uh, Fernando Tatis here. Someone mentioned a trade, but I haven't heard anything else about it. So, But some of these things will probably end up, will end up going into the, uh, will end up going into the box of fun. And I picked up some more autographs with the box of fun, so that, that's going to happen as well. And anyone who bought into the, the tier one break, if you didn't wind up with a with an auto, you you when I sent your stuff out, I sent out an auto as well, um, uh, with them. So um, if you only got a uh, base card, uh, not an auto, I sent you an auto. 
Nah, no, man, no. No numbers that I see. There are no numbers on there. So when you get your packages, you'll see that. Well, I'm, I'm always open to a trade. I will never turn down a good trade offer. So here's the th other thing I want to make all of you aware of. If you guys are going to get into breaks and you say to yourself, man, I really would like to speculate on X break, but I, I don't want to pay for the entire spot. You know, just send me a message through Facebook. Just send me a message through Facebook. Hey, dude, I'm thinking about buying the, the Rays in this upcoming Bowman case break. Would you be willing to take half and we'll sell off the, the you know, what's his name and... Yeah, I'm always open to a good uh, a good deal. And if it saves you some money and it saves me some money, then we'll both be happy. So you guys have a fantastic night. Thanks for popping by. It was good to see you all. If you guys are not going to buy in this weekend, just come by and hang out and chat. You know how much I like hanging out and chatting. I don't. I don't. You know, the one way is fine. The other is if you decide not to. But I really do think the uh, big league is going to be a fun product. Again, I hope no one loses their mind up bidding. Um, but we're doing it five boxes at a time. Um, but it's, it is going to be a, uh, a fun product. And I think that there is potential for some, some big hits. Um, especially, I know there's a trout auto that you can get out of there. Um, and, uh, um, lots of other, lots of other, there's a redemption a, all right, Justin, have a good night. So, um, so do check that out. Do check out the checklist on those. Chris, have a good night. Bacon, have a good night. And we will uh, uh, we will see you guys on Friday night. If I don't uh, decide to come on here tomorrow night and open some more of this uh, <laughs> product, <laughs> I'm going to try not to. So you guys have a fantastic night, and we will see you. Thank you for popping in. As always, the best part of my night is hanging out with you guys. So I hope to see you guys on Friday. Talk to you later.